you guys, it's Megan. I hope you're having an awesome weekend so far. I'm filming this on Friday and it's my lunch break and I decided to come here to CVS because they're doing an amazing deal on impressed nails, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. Um, these are a pair that I've had on for almost two weeks. Only the thumb has fallen off, so that's really good. But it's buy one, get one 60% off. So I'm gonna go see what they have and let you guys know if there's any good ones that I pick up. But yeah, normally I don't like really do anything on my lunch break, but I also wanted to tell you guys I've been listening to a audiobook that my coworker told me about. So this book is called Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, who is actually JK Rowling. So that is how it kind of all started. My coworker like got an audiobook by this author really liked it and looked up the author and discovered that it was JK Rowling. So when she told me that I was even more intrigued and I signed up for the Free Library of Philadelphia, which if you're a Pennsylvania resident, you can get a library card through them on their website for free. And that is really convenient because even my local library, you have to go in person to get it, get a library card. So I got the free library card from the free library of Philadelphia and the app Overdrive allows you to get audiobooks and ebooks through libraries. And so this was the only book in this series that was available and it's the third book in the um his last name is Strike. It's like Comoran Strike is the um yeah, Comoran Strike. Um, is the like detective and so it's a series that he is the main character of and there's I think four books right now in the series and this is the third one but my coworker told me you don't really need to read them or listen to them in order so I agree like you definitely don't need um, like I'm sure it would help you understand more about him and about like his cases if you listen to them in order but really they like build the story completely fresh each time. Like Monk, they would always do a different crime every episode. Um, and so I don't feel like I'm confused or anything like that about the characters at all. So it's been really good. I'm about halfway done. It's definitely very like upsetting what the crime is. Um, so if you're sensitive to hearing about like violence and just like triggering things especially as a woman it is like violence against women in this book so that is the crime that they're trying to figure out but it's not like the only thing they talk about so it's really interesting and i've really really enjoyed it and i want to read more audiobooks or listen to more audiobooks because i have a pretty long commute and it's just nice to listen to something other than music i love listening to music and lady gaga came out with a new song today and i really like it it will definitely grow on me but you guys know I'm obsessed with Lady Gaga, so I'm sure it'll be one that I'll listen to a lot. Um, but I do like mixing it up with podcasts and now audiobooks. So if you have any audiobook recommendations, let me know. I have all of the Harry Potter ones like requested because they were all like um, reserved for like the next 10 weeks. So I think I have like at least eight more weeks until the first one is available, but hopefully. I'll be able to listen to all those and yeah I just thought it was interesting the book that I'm listening to now is by JK Rowling but it's a pseudonym that she's using um which yeah I just think that's an interesting thing that authors choose to do sometimes and so if you've listened or read any of the books in the series let me know because my coworker is reading the second one and I'm reading the third one and both of us really like it. So I'm definitely gonna try to check out the other ones, but I'm gonna go into CVS and see what nails I can find. I'm so excited, you guys. They have so many different ones. Oh my goodness, ooh, I love those. Okay, oh my God. I wish I could get them all. Oh my goodness, okay. So I need to look through all these and then I'll show you guys what I picked out. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited with the ones I picked. There were so many beautiful ones. And I tried to be smart about which ones I got because I have a lot of kind of like flashier ones and so I try to get some more like every day so I got these which are like a French manicure with um like sparkles added and of course my camera doesn't want to focus so these ones are like French manicure with like a shriek of like sparkles and these are called Queen Bee but as we know they reuse names so who knows these ones oh, are called gold digger I've had gold digger so many different styles but these are like a dark brown and then like a lighter brown with like a gem at the bottom of the nail which I thought was really cool so I'm excited to try those these were the first ones that I was like yes I'm definitely getting these are called curious mind and these are light pink and then the accent nails oh my gosh they're so pretty they're like geodes Oh my god, they're like pearlescent and amazing. And then these are called Night Fever, and these are a really cool mixture of nails. So it has like these kind of opalescent ones, it has these matte like peach ones, and then like a glittery iridescent like unicorn peach color. I just love those, and I thought it was cool there was like three different kinds of nails. So that is what I got, and it was $25 for four packs, which, like, it's honestly not that bad because, like I said, these last me basically two weeks, and then I pretty much get, like, bored of them, and they start, like, lifting up a little bit, so probably at the end of this weekend, I'll take these off and maybe let my nails breathe. Oh, my gosh. We don't know where... <laughs> my pot, my audiobook just started by itself. Um, but now I have to go figure out what I want to do for lunch. I think I'm just gonna pick up Chick-fil-A or something. Yeah, my camera is not wanting to focus today. So yeah, tonight I'm going to Alyssa's. So that, like my drive home is probably the next time you guys will see me. But I'll try to have some clips from this weekend for you guys. And yeah, so I'll go get lunch and work the rest of the day because damn, this day has already been insane. So hopefully the rest of the afternoon goes by really quickly. I decided to get the Chick-fil-A fish sandwich meal. And I love when they have this, not every Chick-fil-A has it I noticed last year but if you want a non-meat option for Fridays during Lent or if you just want to mix things up their fish, fish sandwich is really good I love the sauce that comes with it so I just can't wait to eat this I'm leaving work now I'm so happy it's Friday I literally need this weekend so bad I just got my second wind. I can't wait to get to Alyssa's. It should take like less than an hour and a half as long as the traffic stays good. So, oh my God, I'm just so thankful it's Friday afternoon. So yeah, see you at Alyssa's. Alyssa and I are my Mario. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh my God. Good morning, it's leap day! And Alyssa and I just went to Wawa. We got these cookie dough ice lattes. Mine took 10 years, so that's why mine looks fresh. <laughs> no, apparently I didn't order it even though I had a receipt and everything. <laughs> but we found Alyssa's favorite sizzly, which are the turkey sausage egg and cheese. And apparently they're very rare. So I feel really honored that they had them today. And also, Alyssa is going to give me an Animal Crossing education <laughs> tutorial today. I downloaded the Pocket Camp and I made my person yesterday, but I have no idea what I'm doing and it's embarrassing. So <laughs> she's gonna teach me because I never actually played it more than like once on the Switch. So. That's what we're gonna do this morning and I'm so excited. The coffee was delightful. I'm trying to get to the bottom where more cookie dough is. And Alyssa has these amazing cookie dough bites in individual packs. So I'm going to savor that and 
remember my childhood of eating those all the time. But this is my little person on Animal Crossing and she's thinking right now because we're looking at the map. I literally don't understand what I'm doing in this world, but hopefully Alyssa can teach me. Oh, my plants have like, my trees have stuff. So I'm gonna collect them. I know that part. That's pretty much all I know. But I'm gonna learn the ways of Animal Crossing, whether it kills me. <laughs> We're watching Love is Blind and I'm crying so much. I'm so happy for the first couple. I'm only on the first episode, or second, I guess this is. Yeah. <sighs> so no spoilers, but. <gasps> Look at how cute I am. Don't mind the dramatic music in the background. I got this new hair. It's like Lady Gaga bow hair. I'm trying to do my makeup, but I keep crying at the show. It's so good! So many, what is this, like the third episode? So many people are getting together! So we made it to the third episode about halfway through, and so I'm gonna watch more of that when I get home tonight. But it's also the day to pick book of the month, um, which happens usually the day before the next month. So tomorrow's March 1st, which is crazy. And I don't know what book to pick. There's not any that are really speaking to me. So if you guys picked one of the March books, let me know. But I think what I'm gonna do is pick um, two of their like older books from their collection, which I really like that they let you do. So I'm gonna get The Silent Patient because the copy I read was Chloe's. And so I'm gonna um, give that back to her when I see her next weekend. But I really want a copy of my own. So I'm gonna get that. And then I think I'm going to get, what is it called? By Jojo someone? Let me see. Jojo, The Giver of Stars. I've heard really great things about that. So I think I'm gonna get that one. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna pick one from the March books, but I'm gonna ask my coworker Kristen, cause she signed up too, and see if she like was in between some, cause if we both want like different ones, then we could like swap. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys picked a book of the month for March, let me know. And if you guys wanna sign up for $5 for your first month, I'll have my invite link down below and it gives me a credit, which I of course really appreciate since I'm obsessed with reading. So anytime I can get like inexpensive or free books, it's always awesome. So <laughs> let me know. Now we're at King of Prussia. We just got a really good spot. And we're going to Bar Taco, my favorite place that I always request to come to. <laughs> We got all our tacos now. I got two of the Brussels sprouts, one of the pork belly, and their classic margarita. Yummy! <laughs> We're at my favorite place ever, Cold Stone. And I got the mud pie mojo with a brownie added, which is heaven. We're checking out Home Sense, which we've never been to before. So we want to see if it's expensive or like home goods. How different it is. Yeah, I hope it's like home goods. <laughs> it is like home goods. Like everything has like the same price tags. Awesome! Whoa, I want everything. They have so much furniture too, like way more than Home Goods has. Oh my god, it's like heaven. Whoa. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come here once I have my own place because, oh my gosh, Alyssa has that, literally. Yeah, this place is awesome. I love this thing. It has like lavender drawers and it's like skinny to fit like perfectly in between some of my other pieces. Oh man, I think I might get this because this is really great for organizing like so many different things. <gasps> uh, I think it's $30, yeah. I think I'm getting this because I love it. Look at this amazing thing. <laughs> we want to get it. For those of you that play Animal Crossing, they have them. <laughs> I'm gonna get one one day. Oh my gosh, there was like a glittery one too. One like this. Yes, mm -hmm. I have it on my desk and I like Yay. to shake it sometimes. I like this, what look at this, favorite? Alyssa. It's like hollow. Oh, I thought it would spin. Mm -hmm. It's like broken. Never mind. <laughs> what is that? What do you put in there? <laughs> I'm also getting these fake tulips because I love the vase and the color. And then this thing, Melissa's getting <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> Amazing. 
I just got home from Alyssa's and it was a really fun night and day spent with her and it's always nice to to me to do things like Friday into Saturday because then I still have Sunday for like relaxation or whatever so I'm personally really glad that we did it that way but I had a few things in the mail that I wasn't really expecting so I wanted to share those with you guys let's start with this because it's just so like cool. This is from Bliss and they sent I guess their new collection of products that are vitamin C and tripeptide. So you can get these at um, Target now. It's a serum, moisturizer, and eye cream. So I'm super intrigued by this and obviously I haven't tried it at all but yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I didn't know I was still on the Bliss PR list, so this is really, really exciting and such a cute presentation. And then from Influencer, I got the Smashbox Halo Fresh Perfecting Powder. I got the shade Fair, and they had this powder before, but I think it's reformulated. So it's a twist to, it says it in the mirror, get fresh powder with every twist. So you like twist the black part of the packaging and it shaves off some powder for it to be fresh every time. So I think this is really interesting. I'm not sure how this will go, but I do like the packaging and I like the idea and I think the color match will be good for me. So that's really cool to get both of these things to try out and I'll report back if I really like them. I'm like dancing because I just got a library card <laughs> and I'm like, library card, library card. <laughs> oh, so weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> this is my first like official card because I've just been using like an online number. So I'm just so fancy right now. <laughs> so dad found version three and four of the BTS album at Walmart. Yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the version three. Sorry, mom didn't want to be in it. Version <laughs> three box. And then this is the version four box. Sorry, I don't want to mess it up. But version four is definitely the best. Like we would, <gasps> I'm dropping it. I'm going to be disowned from this family. But we love this yeah. poster the most. Version four is the one you should get. It's the most like colorful. Yeah. And this is, <laughs> here, you can show. <laughs> At least just show this page. Yeah. So it's just like a lot more like colorful and fun pictures and it has like doodles on it and stuff. So version four is the best. We've, we've tried them all. <laughs> we got to catch them all. We did. Oh, and I like mom's new Easter wreath. Is that from Target? Target. Yeah, buddy. Matches our uh, Valentine's one, the yeah, felt. Yeah. So cute. I just realized for book of the month that you can't just get old books for any of your boxes after the first one. So I chose a different book or one of the March books for uh, my book of the month. So I picked Hour of the Assassin. And so I'm going to do The Silent Patient as an add-on and do um, The Giver of Stars next time as an add-on. And then since my coworkers signed up for Book of the Month through my link, I get these pins for having someone sign up. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to get these books for March. And I just love the subscription, even though I have so many books already. It's just really fun to expand the different books that I'm reading. So I'm really excited to try out that Hour of the Assassin. It has really good reviews, so should be good. Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday and I just got ready, showered. I feel so clean and like happy. <laughs> and I'm watching Love is Blind. I'm on the fourth episode. My heart is bursting for some couples. Like, I'm so happy things seem to be going really well. And then there's some couples I'm so, like, worried about. And it's, just, like, a really interesting show. I'm liking it a lot more than I thought that I would. And I don't watch, like, The Bachelor or anything like that. And so I wasn't sure how... I would like this show and it's really good so if you have Netflix check it out I'm very happy that I waited to watch it for being able to watch the whole season in like however fast I want to because it was coming out in like chunks so 
yeah. I'm very curious to see how things go. In the end, I wrote down some predictions because I definitely see some issues in some couples' relationships that I don't think will be solved by getting married. And yeah, so very, very interested to see. I, I'm hoping to be able to finish the show today because um, some of my coworkers watched it and I want to talk about it with them tomorrow. So that's my goal and I'll <laughs> let you know my thoughts if I do finish watching it. But I'm going to film a few videos this morning. I have my empties and my shot my stash for March. It's March 1st, which is crazy. So um, yeah, this year is flying. It's freaking me out. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then probably run some errands. I have some returns for Target and Ulta and I'll probably get Starbucks because I have like a lot of stars, so that'll be fun. It, especially if Rachel wants to get something, I like going when she is home. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for the morning and I'll talk to you in a little bit. I made coffee at home this morning in my clear cup. I love it. I use the, um, caramel pod, the silk oatmeal cookie milk, which I don't love, um, the sweet foam ready whip, and then the toffee nut creamer as well. I'm on the ninth episode of Love is Blind and there are quite a few couples that are up in the air to me about if they'll get married or not and oh my God. <laughs> I really, really am invested in this show and the bachelor and bachelorette parties just happened and oh my god some messy shit just happened and I'm like oh god I've cringed so much in this show and cried so much <laughs> well, I always cry when it's like happy moments I just have always been like that it's so weird but um we're about to leave for Philly so I downloaded the rest of this episode and the 10th episode for the ride probably to Philly. And then on the ride home, I'm bringing um, How to Walk Away. I have like a third of the book left. This book, I feel like it's taking me forever. I really only started it last Saturday, but um, I'm just not like reading it every single night. Like some books, I'm just like, I have to get home and read that. But this book is, pretty like the topic is really heavy and I don't know it just isn't as like addictive to read as some of the other books that I've read like it's not a suspense book or anything like that so I really want to finish reading it and I'm at a part where things are like having like a turn so I'm very excited to keep reading it but um yeah I just feel like it's taking me a while even though I've only been reading it for a week and I don't know. It, I feel like I read some books so quickly that a week seems like a long time. Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I am excited to see the weddings. And then I found out that this Thursday's episode is like a reunion, which I think is going to be a maze balls. Like there is just so much drama and stuff that I am just so excited about that damn reunion. Boathouse Row is all red for some reason. <laughs> Looks really pretty. Looks really pretty. Oh man, you guys, we just got home. I finished Love is Blind on the drive and oh, so much went down in that last episode and I was like, holding my breath I was crying I was so uncertain like so many shocks so many just like unexpected things happened and if you haven't watched it go watch it I think you would really like it um it's just very entertaining and I pretty much watched it within like two days essentially because I started it yesterday with Alyssa and it was very, very, very enjoyable, I thought, and really interesting. 
too. So can't wait to see the reunion and I hope there's some major drama and like behind the scenes stuff that they'll talk about. And now I'm following some of the people on Instagram and I think that'll be really cool to see kind of like what they're up to in their real lives and yeah, so. Ooh. <laughs> I really really enjoyed it but um I didn't get to read the book at all so hopefully this week I'll be able to finish it and then I'll start another book to keep chiseling at my stack and hopefully I'll finish my audiobook as well um the career of evil and definitely it is graphic um and hard to listen to at some points but overall the story is just really good and is building really like well so I'm always like what's gonna happen next I can't wait to like I honestly love the narrator's voice so I love to listen to him talk um so I really really like it but I am going to do my skincare and crawl in bed because it's after 10 o'clock and I'm just like done with today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I appreciate you guys watching as always and I'll see you really soon. Bye.